I'm gonna show you how to make all of this food in under one hour so that you can achieve your fat loss goals. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, it's not mine, but the windows are open because it's starting to get quite hot in here. And my neighbor's dog is barking and I was contemplating not filming this because of that. But then I thought, hopefully you guys might not be able to hear it. Hopefully it's okay. But today is Monday and it is meal prep day. We are gonna be meal prepping for the week for a fat loss diet. So if you are trying to get in shape or you're trying to get leaner, lose a bit of fat, feel healthier, feel fitter, then this video is for you. And I have three incredible recipes planned. All of these recipes, by the way, are easy to make in under, I'd probably say like 15, 20 minutes. They're perfect for meal prep and they're all high in protein. So they're gonna keep you full and satisfied and they obviously taste really good. So before we get into this video, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get going. So as you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm currently on a six week mini cup to get leaner and feel my best. And I find that the best way for me to stay on track and to reach my goals is to meal prep. And I haven't actually done a meal prep video for a while or on this mini cut series. So I thought we'd kind of do it together. And yeah, I've planned some great recipes. So stay tuned guys. I haven't done an update in terms of like my cut in this video because not a lot has actually changed this last week. And that is so normal when you're on a diet. But to be honest, even though I haven't seen a drop in scale weight I actually feel leaner like I feel like you can really see it in my stomach so even though the scales haven't moved I'm not really that bothered about it I feel like as long as I feel better that's the most important thing and I've been sticking to my calories I've been trying my best and that's all I really can do I mean I won't lie not every day last week was tip top with steps but it's okay I mean I'm a busy person so we kind of have to do our best and also the weekend with my tracking was probably a little bit more of like a guesstimation situation but again it happens and you just have to do your best like when you're trying to lose fat as long as you try and you really guesstimate and you just track something I promise you you will see results the ones that don't track and they just go oh I had that McDonald's and I just left it they're the ones that don't see results so if you're the person doing that and you're not seeing results track your food even if it's only something um okay Right, let's get into it because I am starving. We're gonna start off with breakfast. So we're gonna do breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next four days. I had to count that because I'm gonna eat one meal today. So yeah, then we'll have three preps for the following three days. And that's basically how I tend to do it. So breakfast is overnight oats because it's so easy to make and it's so high in protein. And it's perfect if you're on the go and if you work in an office or something because you can literally just grab it out of the fridge and you don't even need to microwave it. So we're gonna be making strawberry cream overnight oats and these are the ingredients that you will need. Okay, so we're gonna be using some oats. Obviously, I've just got these Morn Flake ones. Key ingredient here is this Women's Best Fit Pro Way in vanilla. I love this one. It literally tastes like vanilla bean. Code Eleanor Fit for 10% off. We've got some chia seeds. I'm trying to be really aesthetic. I hope you guys are appreciating that. We've got some new meal prep pots. These are from Amazon and they're just so good. So this is obviously like a breakfast size, I feel. And it's gonna be perfect for our overnight oats. We've got some coconut milk with no added sugars. Then I found this in Sainsbury's. So it's the fire yogurt, but this is strawberry flavor. How good does that look? Yum. And then finally, obviously, we've got some strawberries. To make my overnight oats, it's honestly so easy. All you do is put all of the ingredients together into a bowl and then you portion it out. So I'll make sure that for every recipe, I put all of the ingredients and the macros and calories below so that you guys have got it and you don't have to watch my face every time you want to make it. So we've got 240 grams of oats. Four scoops of protein. four teaspoons chia seeds, two hundred and forty grams of this strawberry yogurt, two hundred ml of coconut milk. Then once you've got this consistency, we're going to add in our strawberries. Mm -hmm. 
So I've just chopped some strawberries up quite finely and then I've just left out some because that's going to go on top. Yum. Then we're just going to add some desiccated coconut. And there we go. There is my meal prep strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. Yum. Per portion, there are 425 calories and 35 grams of protein. So it's a great way to start your day. These will keep in the fridge, guys, for up to three days. So I'm going to eat one today and then I've got one for the next three days. So I have a thing at the moment for hot honey anything. Like yesterday or last night I made this pizza bagel and it had hot honey pepperoni on it and it was just chef's kiss. Like it was so good. So I thought that for my lunch meal prep this week, we could make a hot honey chicken and halloumi bowl. So we're going to be making four portions, just like all my recipes. And I'll put all of the ingredients below. This is exactly what you need to make my hot honey chicken and halloumi bowl. We are going to be using some lighter halloumi cheese. Small swaps like these honestly saves so many calories. We've got around 300 grams of chicken breast. Sweet chili sauce, honey, four milk prep boxes. These ones, again, are from Amazon. Just perfect. They're glass as well, so reusable. Then we've got two packs of golden vegetable rice. Now, I actually don't cook my rice until I reheat the milk, so I'm going to be putting this in uncooked, and this is the best way to do it. Then we've got a pepper, spring onions, lettuce. So first of all, we're just going to weigh out our sweet chili and honey. Wow, I've literally just got the perfect amount, 30 grams. 30 grams of honey, we're just gonna mix it up. And there is our hot honey sauce. Using chicken breast over chicken thighs, again, saves so many calories. So small swaps like that will maybe be the difference between you being in a calorie deficit and you not. all done we've got our halloumi and our chicken Then I'm just going to top with some sesame seeds and salt. And there we go. There is my hot honey halloumi and chicken lunch bowls. I can't. It is just my favourite. So per bowl, there are 413 calories and 30 grams of protein. So it's a great macro-friendly meal. And each of these bowls will last in the fridge for up to three days. This honestly looks so good. And I'm going to eat it now because I'm absolutely starving. But basically, when you reheat these bowls, obviously the rice is uncooked. So all you do is just take the little salad out and then pop it in the microwave for two minutes and then pop the salad back in once it's done. For dinner this week, I'm gonna be meal prepping a creamy tomato pasta because 
A, it's quick and easy, and B, it just tastes so good. And I feel like there's nothing better than a heartwarming pasta at the end of the day. I don't know about you guys. I feel like I make pasta all the time, but I make pasta all the time because it's got an adequate amount of carbs in it. You can add in fat with like cream cheese sauce and stuff like that. And you can also add in your protein and it's just so easy to like chuck together. So don't ever be afraid of like having pasta whilst you're on a diet. You can have pasta. You have to be mindful and you also have to just look at your portion sizes there's such a big difference between having like 60 grams of pasta compared to 100 grams of pasta and it's really easy to have 100 grams of pasta when you're just having pasta alone but when you're adding a protein sauce such as chicken and you're adding cheese and like a vegetable kind of base sauce it's actually really filling and if you try and have like 100 grams of that actual pasta plus all of that it's way too much so when people say oh you know your meals they don't have have much pasta in them they do they just have a little bit less because obviously you've got all of like the actual filling to go in with it as well so yeah we're gonna be making a creamy tomato based pasta and we're gonna top it with chicken and cheese and it's gonna be absolutely delicious and this is exactly what you need to make it okay so we're gonna need some tomato puree parmesan because can you have pasta without parmesan i literally can't we've got some philadelphia low-fat cream then we've got some rigatoni I'm obsessed with this pasta shape at the moment. I don't know why. Why does different pasta shapes just taste different? It's just so strange. We're gonna add some peas in for our veggies. And then we've got some chicken. I've got around 300 grams there. So to make my pasta, it's actually really easy. All you're gonna do is pop your pasta onto boil, then fry off your chicken and set it aside. And then we just add everything together into a pan to make the sauce. And then you just combine it all and top it with Parmesan. I completely forgot to add that we're also gonna need a chopped onion. I'm gonna add in some Italian seasoning. So the pasta's just cooking away. I leave it simmer for around five minutes until the sauce thickens. And that is my creamy tomato pasta. Now we've just got to portion it up and top with the chicken. It kind of hurts that I only have two more pink ones. <laughs> Anyways. So when I portion up my meal prep, the reason I'm not weighing it is because I'm eating every single portion. So it doesn't matter if one day I have a little bit more because the next I'll have a little bit less. So it kind of evens out. But if you're like sharing this with your partner or something like that, what I would do now is I would weigh that pasta and I would divide it by four. And then you've got equal amounts in every single one. There is my creamy chicken pasta for four days. How quick and easy was that? It honestly took me like 15 minutes. And per portion, there are 406 calories and 34 grams of protein. So it's such a great meal to have for your lunch or your dinner. Now I'm just gonna leave these to cool, then I'll pop them in the fridge. And then yeah, they'll be ready to go. I'll have one tonight and then one for the next three days. So we've got breakfast, we've got lunch, and we've got dinner for the next four days. We are done. Meal prep is literally done for the next four days. And that genuinely took me under an hour. Obviously I was filming, so I have to kind of bear that in mind. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited for the next few days. I have so much good food. It honestly helped me so much with staying on track because 
I'm such a busy person and when I'm busy, I find it so hard to just reach for like good high protein meals. I don't know about you, but protein's always the thing that I kind of lack on if I am busy. But now that I've got this all prepared, planned, I've got the macros and the calories for it all, I'm literally just good to go. In the next few days are gonna be so simple. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Like I said, all of the ingredients, macros, calories will be below. I tracked all of these recipes on my app Elevate and it's so easy and if you want any more simple recipe ideas just like these then check out my app you can literally download it from just £4.16 a month so it's such good value for money and I know you guys are gonna love it but thank you for watching and I'll see you at the same time next week bye, -bye.